Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I'm in downtown Forestport, New York. Going to be paddling out here on the Forestport Reservoir. Never been here before, so let's go check it out. To the channel this is part of the forest port reservoir the bigger part where my truck is and the bridge is down this way and if you follow the path up this way it takes you to uh there's a dam but then on to Cayuta lake and that is where i have the camper set up at Cayuta lake campground not to be confused with the finger lake that is cayuga lake so anyways, um, set up at Cayuta Lake Campground, and uh, yeah, it was an interesting time getting here. So if you remember my last video, we was, uh, I was on Osgood Pond, and we were under heat advisories, and uh, you know, water advisories, heat advisories, temperatures up into the 90s, well today, we are a complete opposite of the spectrum, not that it's freezing cold out, but it is, uh, it's about 70 out, and yesterday coming in to uh, Forestport, to the campground, um, came down Route 8, uh, Route 12, from Boonville to Alders Creek, and my phone went off, guess what, tornado advisory, it was a tornado watch at that point, heavy rains, winds, I had a school bus ahead of me, and we were just getting blown all over the road and you just couldn't see and you know i know people are going to say well why didn't you pull over if you couldn't see that well well you know what that's the last thing you want to do is pull off the side of the road because somebody's going to come up and hit you from behind and trying to find a spot to pull off when you really can't see that far ahead of you so this bus i stayed right behind this bus and uh, we continued down route 12 and eventually drove out of it just before we got to alders creek and uh got to the campground luckily it was clear not we cleared up enough we got the camper set up and then it blew in again and this time i'm being told i see in the news down here that the uh there was a possible tornado about four miles south of us that touched down um there was pictures on the news of houses that don't have roofs so that there was a couple barns that got blown down and so yeah it was uh quite treacherous coming in and uh i don't think we're under a water advisory anymore because this area at the campground there's a marina and to get onto the docks to the marina you have to walk through the water to get to them that's how much the lake raised up and they're on Cayuta lake up there so it has been a wild start to this journey 
Now I'm starting my journey out. Um, I'm meeting met family down here at Cayuta Lake Campground, and I'll have a review on that campground later on. But uh, I'm going to be there for a few days. I managed to escape for a few hours to come here and paddle. Um, Forest Port Reservoir, I don't know much about it. I've been by it, never paddled it, and really nothing came up on the history of it. Uh, you know, Forest Port is this small little hamlet here. It's not in the Adirondacks. It's, I believe it sits outside the Blue Line, for those that don't know. The Blue Line is kind of the unofficial boundary for the Adirondacks, and we call it the Blue Line. And, uh, but it is a good day to paddle. 70 degrees, there's some clouds in the sky. Yeah, there's a good dark one. But, if it rains, it rains. At least, uh, hopefully it doesn't rain like it did the other day, which, stupid me, um, putting my camper on the site, you know, back in the camper up, I gotta put the window down. Why, I don't know, but put the window down, forgot about it. When I got up, yeah. The window was still down all that rain came down i mean it came down so hard that it was loud inside the camper and uh yeah what my seat is soaked i got water in my pockets of the door water on the floor and it's a toyota hopefully it can take it so but anyways this seems to be a pretty popular paddle as uh there was a bunch of i met a lot of kayakers on the way I'm paddling upstream, so I believe this is part of the uh, Black River system, which explains how dark the water is. I mean, the water is really dark, so um, I believe this is part of the Black Water, uh, Black River, river system, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue paddling for a little bit and uh, see what I can see. So far, I only got crows crowing at me. And don't uh haven't seen anything else yet all right folks you watched all the way through thanks for that if you like the video make sure to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button down below continue to follow the adventure and remember to folks tomorrow is no guarantee for any one of us so disconnect from that wi-fi connect to this out here you won't be disappointed